Allah is the wali of those who believe. What is wali? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the friend of the one who loves him. He is the protector of those who love him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect and he will love and he will guide the one who loves him. And in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, some people they used to say to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Habbullah. They used to say, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu with wahi to answer what they said. And what was it? What he told the Prophet? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam to tell those people who said they love him? In kuntum tuhibbun Allah, fa'tabi'uni yahbibukum Allah wa yaghfir lakum dhunubukum. If you really love Allah, then follow me. So Allah made condition. He made it conditional that whoever really loves Allah, they should follow the Prophet Wasallam. And then if they follow the Prophet Wasallam, then Allah will love them and forgive them their sins. So, you find Muslims today in the street, drinking alcohol, taking drugs, shooting people, robbing people, not making any salah, hating Muslims, killing Muslims, planning, conspiring against Muslims, and acting like gangsters and dogs and criminals. Muslims. But if you ask them, are they Muslim? They say, yes. Do you love Allah? Yes. SubhanAllah. How you can love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but you don't obey Him? How you can love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you don't pray towards Him? How you can love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hate a believer, any believer? It is because you and I at one time or another have been blinded by Jahiliyyah. Even the man I spoke about, Abu Dhar, what did he say to Bilal? What did he say to our beloved Sayyid, Sayyid, Sayyidina Bilal? One day he called him, O oh, son of a black woman, They were talking and Bilal was Habashi. And the, the Habashi people among the Arabs at that time had a low position. So in, a, in some uh, Jahiliya attitude, he said, Oh, you son of a... When the Prophet Sallallahu said, Oh, Abu Dhar, today you said the foulest thing from Jahiliya. And because of this admonition from the Prophet Sallallahu he felt so bad. He felt as if he was like, like a piece of dirt on the ground. He went to Sayyidina Bilal and he apologized and he put his foot, his face on the ground and he told Bilal, oh, you put your foot on my head. To correct himself. How many of us are willing to correct ourselves? 